Hi, I'm Scott. Today we're going to make this piece of pine look like this piece of walnut on Dad It Yourself. Well, hello. So here's the project for today. I'm working on this shadow box and it is just an outline of a C-40 Clipper, which is a Navy cargo aircraft, a place for a flag, and some outlines for different awards and stuff. This is made out of Radiata Pine. I got it from Home Depot and it's all dimensional lumber. Um, this video is not really going to be about shadow boxes as much as it's going to be about stain. So we're going to be using preconditioner and then this Verathane black walnut. When you are using soft woods like fir, spruce, pine, cedar, whatever, you want to use a preconditioner because what that does is seals the pores a lot better so you don't get such a blotchy finish. So first thing I'm going to do is start with the preconditioner. All right, so I'm reading the directions and what they say is make sure this thing's clean and I already wiped it down and then use a brush or a cloth, stir it and then saturate this, let it sit for 30 minutes and then wipe off the excess and then you can immediately stain. So let's do that. Now it says with the grain, so I'll go with the grain. Oh, let me get some gloves. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess and let this cure for about 30 minutes before I stain. Okay, so I'm using Verathane Dark Walnut Stain. This is an oil-based stain, and the wood conditioner was also an oil-based. You cannot use a water-based stain with wood condition that's oil-based. Oil and water just don't mix, so make sure when you're using a wood conditioner and a stain, they're both water-based or both oil-based. So, follow the directions again, right here, and I'm just going to lay it on liberally. You'll notice I didn't do the, the conditioner on the inside. No one's going to see that, so it doesn't really matter. I will stain the inside just so it's dark, but yep, I'm going to stir this up and put that on liberally as well. So you probably saw me keep wiping it over and keeping it wet. And that's the whole idea. You don't want to let it dry in the puddles. So I kept it wet until it was all done. Now I'm going to wipe off all the excess with the clean cloth and then let this dry for eight hours. So next day, I put another coat on the inside. I uh, didn't use the wood conditioner because I don't need to. And that came out really nice. It looks very rustic. I'm gonna go ahead and spray about four coats of this Deft Clear lacquer gloss, and we'll see how that comes out. So four coats of spray lacquer, and I'm gonna buff it out with some brown craft paper. What the brown craft paper does, it takes those little nits off and gives it a really silky smooth finish. And it kind of takes a little bit of that gleam off. This is a high gloss, 
So it's more of a matte finish when it's done, but it's a really nice finish. So even though the final product came out a little bit yellower than the actual black walnut, I'm really happy with the results. A little bit of practice, maybe mixing some different colors of stain in, I can probably nail that color almost perfectly. Following the directions on the can got me a long way and it can get you a long way towards your goals. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, don't forget to put those below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.